Okay, everybody, we're on a 2004 Jeep Wrangler. It's a TJ. Um, has the 4 liter uh, straight 6 in it. And I'm on the X Tool D8 BT, the Bluetooth version. And we're just going to go through uh, the any active test or special functions that this scan tool is able to perform on this uh, vehicle. And uh, it wasn't, this scan tool was not able to, uh, to auto ID the VIN. My Autel is not able to auto ID the VIN either. 2004 is right around the range where uh, it's hit and miss whether or not these scan tools are able to auto ID the VIN. So, uh, so I had to manually uh, put the put the year making model in, which is not that big of a deal. Uh, but it is nice when it auto IDs the VIN because it picks up a lot of the uh, options and stuff that it would have. So. Since I manually put it in, it lists every module that Jeep could have during this year. So we're just going to start with the powertrain control module. And I'm just going to go through any kind of active test or special functions that this scan tool has. And again, this is a 2004 Jeep Wrangler with the 4, li uh, four liter V6. No, not V6, straight 6. Okay, so uh, let's see what we got here. We got live data. There's actuation test, and that's the number one thing we want to focus on here. Okay, so we'll go back and we'll go back again. Oops, didn't mean to do, oh, oh, I was reading trouble codes. Okay, we're going to go to TCM and actuation test. Okay, there's your different solenoids that you can act activate if you're having transmission problems. Uh, transfer case, I don't think, that these Wranglers are pretty prehistoric when it comes to their electronics. That's why a lot of people uh, like, like that. Uh, for off-road vehicles. They're mechanical. You shift the transfer case manually with a lever and less pro less electrical problems anyway. Uh, shift lever sensor. Yeah, not sure if it's got a shift lever sensor, but I'm about to find out. Nope. Final drive. Okay, it's not an all-wheel drive, so I'm not even going to click that. Uh, uh, it should have airbags. And now this vehicle is set up for off-road. Uh, they've got it lifted. They've got 35-inch tires on it. They've got a different rear axle in it with disc, big disc brakes on it. I'm not sure what all's been deactivated on this vehicle. So it should have had airbag, but it didn't pull up a uh, uh, module. So I don't know if they've disabled the airbag system so that whenever they're off-roading, uh, they don't have an accidental airbag deployment does have a mechanical instrument cluster. Got a little digital display down at the bottom, but for the most part, it's mechanical. Got actual actu actuation test. Okay. Uh, it does have air conditioning, but I don't know if it's got its own module or not for that. Apparently not. FCM, not sure what FCM is, but we'll see if it picks one up and again remember these are modules that can be on any any Jeep vehicle of 2004 year range uh, since I had to manually put it in it doesn't know what this vehicle's got and what it doesn't have so when I hit the button it tries to communicate with it if it can't then that's when we get the no response uh, message and again this is my Xtool D8BT scanner I've had really good luck with this scan tool. I've been very impressed for the price that you pay. Uh, it's a very, uh, very capable scan tool. Does not have a power lift gate. Does not have adjustable pedals. Does not have automatic temp control. Does not have memory seats. Classification. Yeah, we'll see what that's got.
they, like I said, they might have uh, in opt the uh, deactivated the airbag system because it's got an aftermarket bumper on the front and the back. I mean, it's it's got a lot of stuff for off roading. So there may be some stuff that they have went in and deactivated so that they don't have. Uh, you know, airbag deployments or their ABS brakes are trying to lock up when they don't want them to lock up and things like that. But whatever modules we are able to uh, connect to, we'll see what kind of activation test and special functions uh, they have. And keep in mind, these icons that you're seeing, even if we're getting a no response on this vehicle, it gives you an idea of what other Jeeps, you know, if you have a Jeep Grand Cherokee or, or any other kind of Jeep. Uh, this is some of the stuff that your Jeep, you know, possibly has that the skin tool would be able to connect to and, uh, you know, help you troubleshoot problems that you, that you may have. Okay. Uh, it's got an aftermarket radio, so I might want to. Uh, click on that skim. I think it's got a skim module. Okay, activation, actuation test indicator lamp. So all we got on that. Uh, dig, I'm not going to do dig, digital audio amp because they've, like I say, they've changed out the radio. Does not have a park, any kind of parking assist. Does not have a rain sensor. Uh, ABS brakes. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. I mean, it should have ABS brakes for this year, but I do not know if. Uh, Whenever they put that rear axle in, they might have deactivated the ABS system. Uh, we'll try right back air, uh, airbag. I know it from the factory. I do think it has an uh, airbag, but I don't know if they deactivated it. Does not have a navigation system. Does not have hands-free module. Does not have power sliding doors. Uh, so I, I guess that's it. Um, the only other thing that we could check to see what this scan tool is able to do on this particular vehicle is let's go over here to special functions we'll go to key programming and we'll see if it will communicate with the uh, key system we'll see if we can pull uh, I don't know if a 2004 if you are if you have to have a pin code or not but we're going to see if this will, uh, if, if you do have to have a pin code, we're going to see if it'll pull one. Uh, there we go. We'll do, we'll try to do auto. Turn ignition key switch to be on. It is. Change VIN, PCM. So this is some good stuff to know. If you was to uh, change the PCM out, you should be able to, uh, whoops, did not want to click that. Uh, to program the new PCM to where it will start your vehicle and uh, run. Uh, read pin, uh, read pin. Let's see, this function needs to. Okay, the screen module needs to be disabled. This is, is assembled from the car. Well, we're not going to do that. Uh, re, we're going to try this. Repin. This one's not support for your vehicle. Okay. Scan replace. Program keys. Let's just let's just hit program keys and see what happens. I've had real good luck with this particular uh, scan tool programming keys. Let's see if that's correct. One, two, three, four. Yeah, wrong code. Uh, erase, change van, PC, skim, replace. Yeah, we're not going to go through all that. Okay, and this uh, looks like you've got four different options. Uh, whether you have a remote, uh, a phobic, which is a key fob, key uh, combination, I believe. Uh, immobilizer. So, yeah, it looks like you should be able to program keys to this, uh, to this Jeep. And I've had good luck using this tool to program keys. Um, and, th and if you're not familiar with this scan tool, this page here, which is special function page, 
is the page that you go to to quickly get to like if you had an electronic parking brake if you're going to do a throttle relearn oil reset uh, you know gearbox power balance things like that now all these are not going to be applicable to this particular vehicle but if they are this is where you would you know click to see if indeed you was able to uh, uh, you know activate whatever the feature is that you're trying to uh, to do for instance uh, I don't know transmission don't think this vehicle that's probably a bad choice Yeah, there's no self-learning that this transmission. And that's pretty much it. Again, this is a 2004 Jeep TJ Wrangler. Uh, straight six, four liter. Uh, this is the X-Tool D8 BT. You guys take care.